Today, we're gonna to talk about the one image that you need to have in your head to know if your program is gonna work or not. Imagine you're out in a big field having a great time when suddenly off in the distance, you see some storm clouds approaching. Rain's coming soon. You better find some shelter. Now, you know you have enough time to put something together, but how do you start? A good shelter has three main parts, a foundation, walls, and a roof. A great athlete has the same parts. Most sports programs focus on two of those parts, most music programs focus on one, and that's why in this performance-based career, most people get soaked. The first thing that gets laid down, and maybe the most important, is the foundation. Everything gets built on this level, and if it's cracked or uneven, you're not gonna have a very good house. It's the least visible, but I think it's the most important. Without a strong foundation, the walls will crumble and then there's nothing for the roof to sit on. In athletes, the foundation are the subconscious skills that it takes to be successful. It's the ability to keep your subconscious brain under control so that you can find your flow. The best traditional athletes have spent hours working through some of the exercises that we teach, making sure that they have control over their brains so that they have control over their bodies. They know that training their subconscious through your eyes, through your vestibular system, through your sensory systems is the key to peak performance and finding your flow state. Their foundation is rock solid and anything that they build on top is going to benefit from that immensely. Quick tip here. We're talking about your subconscious brain for your foundation. That's the part of your brain that doesn't understand language or reason. So you can't talk yourself into having a lower heart rate on a roller coaster, even though you're actually perfectly safe. Any tools that involve speech or language in any way are going to be a walls skill or a roof skill, which we'll get into more. That's why you can't just talk yourself into finding your flow state. It's something you have to feel. If you've ever had a gut feeling about something that you couldn't quite put into words, but you just knew something was going on, that's your subconscious brain, your foundation, making itself known. When it comes to building solid foundations, music schools up until this point have kind of missed the boat. That's why a lot of musicians get their houses blown over as soon as the wind picks up. Next step are the walls. This is your physical body, your strength, your speed, your height, your endurance, your body fat percentage, all of the stuff that you can see when you look at another person. Of course, it's the most visible part of your athleticism, and it's there in large part to support the roof. Given the huge health and fitness and beauty industry that exists out there that caters exclusively to the walls, you'd think we'd have this figured out. You'd be wrong. The truth of the matter is that the beauty and fitness industries are really the skincare and weight loss industries. And some people do need that kind of help. But for those that don't, it's like painting rotten siding and calling it fixed. The real issue lies beneath the surface. The most useful walls have well-chosen paint and siding carefully applied over a durable, strong frame. The frame can withstand the coming storm, while the siding is designed to withstand the elements and still look and function great afterwards. That's another win for traditional athletics. Their walls are built to last. And in most cases, another miss for music school. To check if your walls are as good as they need to be, Here's a quick checklist so that you know. And when you can check off every single item on this list, you'll know that your walls are functioning at 100%. Sleep seven to nine hours per night without waking. High energy level all day. 100% pain-free movement. Your pee is pale yellow or clear. You feel like you have endurance. You can get 10,000 steps per day without too much strain. Your body weight is stable. You have a high mood on most days. You're sick less than twice per year. You don't smoke and you have less than two alcoholic drinks per week. If you can check all of those boxes, congratulations, that is fantastic. If not, you might know where your weak links are now. The roof is where there is the most difference between singers and traditional athletes. The roof is made up of the specific skill set that makes a baseball player a baseball player, an oboist an oboist, and a football player a football player. A singer's roof is made up of things like your vocal technique, your music history, your music theory, your rep classes, your languages, all of the things that we go to school for and have teachers for. And of course, this is where music school really starts to shine. Music schools are responsible for the best roofs in the world, and there's a good reason for that. Since schools offer degrees in music, all of your time, both academic and personal, is spent on building that roof, which of course is fantastic. You can't get a degree in baseball, so college players are forced to split their time. They aren't writing papers on baseball history or being judged on their ability 
to tell Aaron Judge's swing apart from Hank Aaron. All of the baseball that they absorb is outside of their academic time. Like a singer, a baseball player's roof is made up of complicated skills that they have to be fantastic at. Running technique, swinging technique, where to throw the ball at what time, the difference between a play with one outs versus two outs. If they're a pitcher, they have to know the history of each batter that they come up against so that they know what pitch to throw where at what speed. And if you're a batter, you know that they know that, and so you're trying to work against your instincts to predict what they're gonna do to put your bat at exactly the right point and angle and place in space so that you can get a hit. For a baseball player, the difference between knowing and not knowing is the difference between a multi-million dollar contract and staying in the minors for your whole career. So now that you know, the choice is up to you. There's a storm coming, what type of shelter are you gonna build? The best athletes are constantly striving to reinforce their foundation, their walls, and their roof. They're building fortress-like castles that will keep them completely safe and dry and sheltered no matter what the storm of a performance career throws at. On the other hand, most music schools have been building gazebos. The roofs are strong and delicate and beautiful, handcrafted, hand carved with golden filigree laid in throughout, but flimsy walls and barely any foundation to speak of. No matter what fields you choose, life is gonna throw some storms at you. Most get drenched, struck by lightning or flooded. And they're left thinking, all of my friends are in the same position. I guess this is just how life is. But now you know, it doesn't have to be that way. You have a choice. So what'll it be? A gazebo or a castle? 